Kyle Larson will be on track next. The reason this car is in order here, this does not run all the races. So he ends up queuing up at this point. Uh, but everybody else will get to see a number pretty quickly <laughs> here. Yes, they will. Green flag and back to checker. Here he is in the green compared to Hill. This will be the standard for the rest of the field to fight at a 30.1 compared to practice. DJ, what's that look like? Well, a couple of tenths faster. See how he sets up three and four. It's tenth in this uh, right here back in May. So. Obviously a place he enjoys racing at. Yeah. And I'm seeing that quite a bit, DJ, where there are drivers who are racing uh, only sporadically this year. If they did Darlington in May, they are doing Darlington in September. You can see right there, drove it in really hard uh, in qualifying when you're the one. Uh, you can see right here, he's tracking to beat Larson's time. And there it is to the yeah. top, Brandon Jones. He just carried a lot of speed there. You can use up all of that racetrack when there's no other cars out there. Uh, take a little extra speed. You got enough grip with the tires that hopefully it keeps you off the wall there and you can power back up and he did a great job. Yeah, he did because we see so many guys who carry a lot of speed through one and two and by the time they get to the middle of the backstretch, they are your pole winner, but they get really brave going in three <laughs> and they give it all back through three and four. Uh, he kept it under control and that was that's a good great lap by Jones. This is an important qualifying session for me, I believe, for Raleigh to put himself in a position to strike today and gain some of those 58 points that he's lost over the last couple of races and to cr cr basically claw himself back into uh, this playoff situation. He sailed it in there. Yeah, he did. And he's picking up as he comes to the line. Good lap. Up all the track. Great lap for Herbst. It will be third right now. And that's a confidence thing for this team, too. To, to, to come off the last couple of weeks and have the results that they have, to say, listen, if we do, as we heard him say earlier, cross our T's and dot our I's and do what we're supposed to do, we can get back in this. And I think that's a, that's, that's a big statement for that team today uh, as far as confidence. Here's your man. Five-time winner, DJ, in the Xfinity Series here. <laughs> I'm telling you, there are two people that I, uh, there have been a lot of winners and people that have managed to, to win race here. There's two guys that make this place look like it's not so hard, and we know it is, but that was David Pearson and Denny Hamlin. Yeah. He's in the green there for a second. Let the, oh, yeah. A uh, little slip right there, but he stayed in. Oh, yeah. Oh, my, look at that lap. Yeah, sorry, wow. Brandon Jones. That oh, is a big lap a by big Hamlin. Lap. That little wiggle right there is about as out of shape as you ever see Denny yeah. Hamlin here. You yeah. know, I mean, it was, and you know, it, it wasn't that big, although it's a bigger moment inside the car than what the TV shows, but just shows how phenomenal he is at this place. So driver, you better not take your eyes off in the yeah. playoffs. Uh, oh, stay with it. It's just a little Mr. Darlington Wall strike. Here. Just a barely, nothing to hurt it though. He act like that was nothing there. It just <laughs> stayed in the gas and went on. That's a good thing yeah. about these bodies. Yeah. Look at that. Now. Fourth quick. That's a uh, hello, I'll see you later today. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Right there. Well, he's not the first one either. You saw the black oh. marks there preceding him yeah. right there. He might beat Denny Hamlin right yeah. here. Yeah. Paying yeah. attention to what his teammate did. Here comes John Hunter Nemechek. And he can, oh, yeah. Look at that lap. Oh. It's under. Oh. Goodness. That was close, man. Wow. He got he got just out just a little too far on the egg, um, coming off the exit and had to come back a little bit and gave us gave up some coming to the and made you nervous. Sticker. Yeah, listen, it did make me nervous. because <laughs> Listen, when you go out of sight and you're behind the wall and then you peek back out. Yeah, it makes me nervous. You're not supposed to be out that far. Do you know what one of the spotters told me? They're right above us kind of at the start finish line. They tell me that is a very hard spot to spot oh, I'm coming sure. out of turn four because the wall kind of comes over. It's really hard for them to see their cars down there. So it, it could be the action point later today, too. Sam Mayer flirting with the pole. Oh, ah, oh. and the wall. Yeah, that's what happens when you flirt with the pole. Oh, wall pretty hard. So still a pretty solid yeah. lap right there. That's a great lap. And he Gosh. said pretty hard. Uh, <laughs> you know, we, we heard earlier um, and when who got into it? I can't even remember. Um, but he said just barely got in the wall. Sammy I thought Smith. he get, but yeah, Sammy Smith. He hit it pretty. 
He did. He went ends. up and was. He was a couple of times. So he says hit it pretty hard. So we'll have to see what they, what they do with this thing. That's a good lap. Oh, oh wow, that thing wiggled getting in, man. Oh wow. Uh, let's just bring it home here. Yeah, he went in a little higher than I've seen the other guys go into the corner. Yeah. Um, and when it got away from him, when it stepped out, but still. Yeah. He, he's right there with. That yeah, wasn't bad. The final car, Justin right. Allgaier. A little confidence in this driver after his first ever Daytona win last week. Oh, that that's never a bad sound of that. No. Daytona win at any time. He worked a lot of years finish. for that. Good to see him get that finally. He's been so good the last seven or eight races that everything doesn't show. They finally got paid off for that last week at Daytona. For sure. Whoa. Stepped out a little bit, but yeah. good corner, man. Carried a lot of speed right there. Stays off the wall. Oh, was green for a moment. Clock going the wrong way now. I get in third. And he will be third, DJ. Yeah. Justin Allgaier, row two. John Hunter Nemechek, P1. P1, Steve. and this is the place to stand because I want a little evidence of what practice is here. First of all, congratulations. I watched you watch those final cars. Take me through your lap. How smooth was it? How confident were you? Uh, I felt pretty good. Our Toyota GR Supra um, is definitely as fast as Xfinity 10G today. Um, I felt like we let one get away here in the spring, um, starting out where we started out last time. So hopefully it can be a little bit different result at the end. But um, hats off to all these Joe Gibbs Racing guys. We've had a tough few weeks with, with points loss and fighting for the regular season championship. So starting off this weekend uh, in a really good spot. But um, like you said, a little bit of evidence of practice. You just have to find where, where the edge is. Um, but I thought my lap was solid. I messed up a little bit in three and for, even though that's where you said I, I laid it down. So um, have to go back and do some homework, but ready to race today. Yeah, I thought your three and four was great. Let's talk about the spring. I know it was the one that you wish you could do over again. You're going to get that chance today, but five wins on the year. It's been a great year. What's it mean to race against those cup guys and try to build some momentum as you head to the playoffs? I think that there's always the debate of if cup guys should come down and run. Um, yes, I lost a race here in the spring, but I can promise you I won't lose a race here this time from that. Um, racing around cup guys, they have a lot more experience than I do. Uh, it's most of the places that we come to, there's a reason that they're in the cup series. And when you get beat by a move like that or, or something different than you're not accustomed to, you have to go back and study and figure out how to, how to achieve that and how they made it work. So um, I'm really excited for today. Darlington, one of my favorite racetracks, uh, and really being able to race the Cup guys, um, I think this is the last race that they can run uh, in Xfinity for the rest of the year. So uh, just to tune up to go to the playoffs and uh, looking forward to getting the playoffs started here in a couple weeks. Well, good luck the rest of the day. And guys, I didn't have to watch the highlight because John Hunter just took me through that last lap from the <laughs> spring, 100 feet by 100 feet. He remembered every section, every move, and assured me he learned something from it. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports and NBC YouTube channel.